Hey there, YouTubers, it's Don from True Cable coming back at you again with yet even more educational content. What we have here is our Category 6A shielded field termination plug. These are pretty popular. People use them quite a bit, especially for our really thick uh, Category 6 and 6A uh, shielded cable. It's a relatively straightforward process to actually terminate this guy. The question is, how do you unterminate it? Well, um, that's come up a few times on the phone, <laughs> and describing it over the phone is not exactly an easy process. So uh, you don't need anything more than a simple jeweler screwdriver. Now this is a precision screwdriver, and it's, so it's got a relatively thin ground blade and it's kind of narrow, and that's gonna make things easy to work with. So the first thing that you're gonna need to do in order to get this thing unterminated, let's say you you know, cross the conductor and you need to pull everything apart and redo it, or let's say you take your field termination plug and move it to another cable. After all, these guys can be re-terminated up to 20 times. That leads you into the question of how? I mean, there's a lot of different mechanisms on here keeping this thing closed. So we'll even cover about what to do if, for example, you accidentally break this hard plastic uh, strain relief boot. But first, let's go through not breaking it. So the first thing is you're going to notice that there's various spots, actually four of them, where this uh, plastic uh, strain relief boot slash closure mechanism has latched on here. You got the top one. You've got this one here, you've got the bottom one, and you've got the side one over here. So that's four of them. So the best way of attacking it is to go in from the top near the Wi-Fi signal and unlatch it there to start. Now, it's gonna have a propensity to want uh, to snap right back on. So once you get one undone, you're gonna need to use a little bit of finger pressure and keep it up so it doesn't re-snap on you. And then you need to go at it from the other sides at the same time and try to get them all unlatched so that you can pull it off without it relatching on you. And that is not an easy task. Unfortunately, when this guy closes, it's meant to, you know, kind of stay closed. You know, it's, I mean, although you can pull off this cap, it's not the easiest thing in the world. So with some judicious, uh, you know, prying there, um, I was able to unlatch enough spots on that that it was able to get this thing off. If you accidentally break this uh, hard plastic cap or a hard plastic strain relief boot, it's not the end of the world. Uh, once you re-terminate your cable, you can then use a zip tie to keep it closed if necessary. All right, so once you got that off, the next thing is you gotta get the actual field termination plug mechanism itself open. Well, there's two small metal tabs. There's one here and there's one here. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're going to use a little bit of leverage and pop it from one side and then get in here and pop it from the other side. And just simply turn your screwdriver upward. You may have to do it a couple of times on both sides. And then your field termination plug will come undone after a couple of tries. There we go. And there we go. Then you can take your terminated cable out. Now, this conductor holder cap is going to be in here with a good deal of friction if it's already got a cable. The reason why is because you've got potentially eight insulated conductors that are stuck in these uh, IDC terminals. So therefore, you're gonna have some friction to deal with. So you may need to carefully lift up on the cable jacket with this uh, cap and then lift it straight up uh, try not to bend it too much. You don't want to damage the uh, IDC terminals in the process. And there you go. Now you're ready to go ahead and actually re-terminate this uh, shielded field termination plug. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, please do uh, leave them below. We'd love to get feedback. We'll be happy to answer questions that you may have. Leave a comment, subscribe to our channel. And with that, I'm going to say you have a great day and happy networking.